Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics. We recently did our 2022 part one fish room tour. This tank was in that part and a lot of people commented on the fish in this tank. That is Julitochromis or Nanus. We are gonna talk more about it today. Talk about how to care for them, how to breed them. Appreciate you being here. Hope you enjoy the video. So this is a 20 gallon long and this 20 gallon long houses our Julitochromis or Nanus. This is a great fish. It is from Lake Tanganyika in Africa. Water there is pretty hard with a high pH, and so we'll talk about the water parameters here in a moment. But this is one of my top five favorite fish from Lake Tanganyika, and if you are interested in keeping cichlids, especially African cichlids, this is definitely a fish you should probably put on your list. Again, this is a 20 gallon long that we are looking at. We've got some rock work. We've got some guppy grass in here. This is not a biotope or a biotype. I like the guppy grass in this tank because I think it offers a little bit of cover to some of the other fish. And it's one of the reasons why we have a decent number in this tank and we really don't have a lot of aggression issues. I think the reason why this fish is so popular is the color. It has amazing color. As you can see, it's got a lot of yellow to it. It's got the black stripes. A lot of fish from Lake Tanganyika tend to be a silver or tan or kind of this iridescent tone, which they're all really cool. But this one here will provide a little bit of color to that Lake Tanganyika setup. Size, they don't get huge. And that's another thing that I think makes these fish so popular. These are part of the rock dwelling fish of Lake Tanganyika. You're looking at a max size of somewhere around three to three and a half inches with the females sometimes getting a little bit larger than the males. The temperament of these fish, they can be, as most Lake Tanganyikans are, they can be a little bit aggressive, a little bit assertive. So you have to choose your tank mates wisely. If you're going to be keeping these fish, I find they do great in a species only tank. I think this tank is awesome. It's very fun for us to look at. It's one of my favorites in the fish room. You can expect these fish to live for at least five years, maybe five to seven years. Tank mates. If you are looking at this fish as a larger uh, community tank, this the Ornanus would do best in a Lake Tanganyikan community tank where you could keep them with other rock dwelling fish like the Lelupi, the Julitochromus, Mallory, Transcriptus. Those fish would be fine. Shell dwellers could be an option like your Maltese and your Similis and your Brevis. If you want some open water fish, your Ciprochromus could work. Your Featherfin Lake Tanganyikan fish could work, as would your Bashardi. By the way, if you want more information on some of the tank mates for the Ornatus, check out the description below. I'll have some more information there for you. For a cleanup crew, I really think you're mostly limited to bristlenose plecos if you want to try one in a 20 gallon or larger. We have at least one in this 20 gallon tank. They leave it alone for the most part. In fact, I think it's underneath the rocks right there is a super red bristle nose. You could also look at the Cynodonis, the dwarf Petrocola might be a fish you could add. When you're thinking about how to construct your Lake Tanganyikan community or what tank mates to keep with this fish, understand a 20 gallon tank is gonna work fine if you're doing a species only tank and you want them to breed. If you want to keep other species with the Ornatus, I would recommend getting a larger tank, at least a 40 breeder. A four foot tank like a 55 or a 75 might work even better because they're taller and that allows you more options in terms of keeping shell dwellers on one side, maybe your rock dwellers on the other. Keeping your open water fish like your Cipochromus or your feather fins a little bit higher up in the water column, that will all reduce aggression. Water parameters. We keep all of our tanks in our fish room right around 78 to 80 degrees. These fish have been thriving in that water temperature for a while. You can certainly go down to 75, 76, but I would try to keep it around 76 to 80. As I mentioned before, when it comes to pH and water hardness, this is an area where you're gonna to wanna to make some considerations or have some considerations. pH minimum, most likely somewhere around seven and a half. They can go up to a pH of nine. Our pH is between an eight and an 8.2. They seem relatively happy there. Water hardness anywhere from eight or nine degrees up to 20. Our water hardness for both our KH and GH is 10 degrees. And again, they're breeding healthy, happy, living a long life in those water parameters. I will say, this is not a fish, no lake, well, no fish really, but especially Lake Tang, you can fish. You don't want to use these fish to cycle a tank. That's just a bad idea, generally speaking. But the Lake Tang and you can fish are especially sensitive to ammonia spikes and nitrite spikes. 
So you wanna make sure you've got a well-established tank. We keep our nitrates below 20 parts per million or less. Even with water temperature, you don't want that fluctuating a lot. One of the, the things about Lake Tanganyika fish is sometimes they don't ship particularly well because of changes in water temperature. So we wanna have very stable water parameters. And the closer to ideal you can get, the more breeding and the better the behavior these, you're gonna see out of these fish. Feeding them is not difficult to do. So we feed our fish North Fin Flakes, North Fin Pellets. They really like the North Fin Bug Pro. We feed a lot of live baby brine shrimp in this particular tank because we never necessarily know when the pair is breeding. And so it's just nice to have that in there. And plus the adults and the juvenile fish really love it too. Tank size, I've mentioned this a couple times. 20 gallon I would think is a, is a good starting point for a pair if you wanna see them breeding and as a species only tank. As you start to add the other fish we've mentioned, try to go at least a 40 breeder or a 55, 75 or larger. I think you will solve a lot of potential aggression issues that way. Decorating the tank is pretty simple for these fish. They are rock dwelling fish. Sand substrate is gonna work out best. I like to keep the sand substrate for most Lake Tanganyika fish on the lighter side. I think it brings out their colors a little bit better. Rock work, if you're gonna have shell dwellers in there, you want shells, but for, particularly for this fish, rock work. The plants, like I said, we put guppy grass in here. It just started growing in here. I like the way it looks. I think, like I said, it offers a little bit of cover to some of the other fish, and I think it has reduced the potential for aggression. If you are going to be breeding, the Ornatus, it's not a terribly difficult thing to do in terms of you don't have a lot of work to do here. Obviously you need males and females, they're going to pair off and so you need at least one male and one female. They are going to be hanging, spending a lot of time hanging out around rocks. They will lay their eggs in the rocks. In fact, the female will often lay the eggs on the top side of a rock uh, inside of maybe like a, a cave like you see here on the left hand side. It's going to take a few days for those to hatch. The fry are pretty small. They are visible. They're not crazy small, so they will eat live baby brine from the start after they go through their, their egg sac. So live baby brine is a great way to increase the likelihood that you get maximum survival. Usually by the time they're juveniles, less than an inch, they're also eating flake food that has been crushed up for them. Spawning, at least in our tank, we're getting anywhere between 20 and, well, 10 and 20 fish per spawn. They can spawn much, much larger batches, but for us in this tank with the fish, the setup that we have here, we're getting 10 to 20 usually. The personality of these fish is absolutely outstanding. And like I said, it's one of the things that if you haven't kept them yet, you should definitely try. Obviously for a Lake Tang Eakin fish, they've got a lot of color. And for those of you with hard water and a high pH, if you're kind of getting, you know, maybe a little burnt out on some of the live bears, like your guppies, your endlers, your mollies, that kind of thing, and you want to switch to cichlids, this is certainly one where you don't need a huge tank. You're going to get a lot of personality, a lot of color. Highly recommend, check them out if you can. Again, we've got some species profiles down in the description below if you want more information on what to keep with these fish. Appreciate you being here and we will see you in the next one.